On the 29th of July 2022, Mr. Olubenga Owolabi was kidnapped in his hotel in Oyo State a few hours after he returned from the USA. He, along with the young staff by the name of Rachel, were taken by the abductors. Now, Rachel's story is just very painful to listen to. She was a student of a Lautec and it seemed as though the strike affected them and so she sought out for a job which she got at the hotel, the Tana Suites. And according to the hotel Facebook page, Rachel was literally just announced as a staff member of the hotel earlier that month in July. So apparently she had not even worked there for up to a month when she was kidnapped. So after they were kidnapped, the kidnappers started demanding 50 million naira. The kidnappers reached out to his family and they asked the family to provide the 50 million naira. They even said that uh, Olubenga himself told them that he would give them the 50 million naira. However, the family of the man started uh, prizing with the kidnappers asking them to take 2 million naira in which the kidnappers were very offended and it was said the kidnappers made a statement telling the family that they spent a long time planning to kidnap this man and now they've gotten him the family wants to pay only 2 million naira are they are they sick that's kind of like the words from the kidnappers so basically the family of Olubenga and the kidnappers kept going back and forth as to how much they could pay for the ransom to free the man and the, the staff, Rachel. But put something in mind, throughout the whole conversations regarding the kidnappers and the family of Olubenga, this girl was not even mentioned. It's almost as if she was a liability because I don't think they meant to kidnap her. It's not being stated if the kidnappers called her family to also demand money because I don't know how much they could get. She was just a struggling student trying to make ends meet for herself, trying to make herself useful till the school resumes. So it's not stated if our family were contacted. The entire negotiation was just for Mr. Olubenga. I mean, he's the rich person here. He's the person who owns the hotel. He's the one who just came from the USA. So he's the one expected to have that much money. However, for some reason, the family ended up paying 5 million naira to the kidnappers. And when it was time to get the captives, they were directed, the family were directed to a bush path where they discovered that Rachel and Mr. Olubenga had been shot dead even after the families paid uh, 5 million naira for their freedom. But the story doesn't end there. So basically after they were killed, despite the fact that the ransom had been paid, although it was way less than what the kidnappers demanded, way less. The kidnappers demanded 50 million naira and they got 5 million naira. And I'm, I'm assuming that is the reason why they probably killed him. But even though personally, I don't feel that that is the reason. In my heart of hearts, of course, I, I know that the question that a lot of people would want to ask is if the family had paid the 50 million naira in full, would they still have killed him? I feel they would have. Because to kidnap this kind of a person, it had to be someone who knows him. It had to be someone close to him. I feel like they know, uh, he especially might be familiar with the one or the person involved in kidnapping him. So I just feel like whether or not they pay 100 million or 50 million or 200 M, the kidnappers would have still done what they wanted to do. Because I understand why they took the man, he's the target. But why did they take this girl? They don't even know her from anywhere. She wasn't part of the people that they wanted to kidnap. So why was she taken? And why was she killed? It's not as if they reached out to her family for ransom. This only makes sense if you can see that maybe she and he or they basically just figured out who the one of the kidnappers was. Because I don't know why she was implicated. She knows nothing about the hotel. She has been there for barely a few weeks. She is not related to the man. She does not even come from a rich home. So why was she kidnapped and why was she killed? I just feel like this man may have been familiar with one of the captors and may have even had conversation with the person and she has probably heard or overheard the conversation and seen the man and could basically identify the man outside the, the captivity spot if that's the word outside the kidnappers then she could basically maybe identify uh, the captors and I think that is why they had to kill her too and it's just unfortunate and it's just painful Police are still investigating, they are still trying to find the people behind this. And it's being said that the kidnappers have bragged so much as to how they don't care, how they can kill him and still kidnap more people. Which means it's not going to end with him, which means that they are looking out for more people. After all, they were gone in for 50M and they only got 5M. So, someone got to pay the rest uh, 45M that they were aiming for. So, who is next? Who are they going to kidnap next? 
So it's been said that the police have arrested the younger brother to Mr. Olubenga Owolabi. Um, the younger brother's name they say is Femi Olabi. They are claiming that it's the man's younger brother that was behind the kidnapping and police had arrested him and the guy had confessed. But that is a rumor that is still not very confirmed. I mean, if anything, it has been refuted by the family, the older brother of uh, Mr. Olubenga Owolabi. Another blog reported that the family said, uh, we have no brother by the name of Femi Owolabi. So they don't know where the story is coming from. Uh, the police has not arrested anybody in connection with his um, kidnap and murder. And that that story might not be true or is not true at all, according to them. So I guess we'll just have to wait for the police to give us their words because so far it's just what is being said. At the same time, where there is smoke, there might be a little bit of fire or at least a spark. Because like I had already said, to kidnap a man like this as powerful as he is, you got to know him. Even if you don't know him, someone had to be informing the kidnappers. You also got to know the hotel that they're kidnapping from in and out. Someone had to know that he just came from the USA. And since the kidnappers claim that they've been following this man or they've been trying to kidnap him from him for, for a very long time, it definitely got to be someone closer to him that would most likely give the kidnappers information or be among the kidnappers themselves. So if the rumors are saying a younger brother might know something, then I, I don't know because I believe someone close to him might have played a role or had a hand in his kidnapping and killing. But anyway, we'll just have to wait. It's been said that the girl Rachel has been laid to rest. It's just unfortunate for her. She did not do anything wrong other than to try make a living or try make better use of her time. And all she gets is being kidnapped and killed for someone she doesn't even know. I hope we all just be careful out there because it's getting scarier by the day. Incidents like this uh, deserve so much coverage but I mean it's not getting enough coverage and many people are not very aware of what is happening. So guys let me know your thoughts on this story and let me know what you feel about this. I would like to hear your, your thoughts, your feelings, comment below everything you think could have played a role in this story. And if you think also someone who knows him might have been involved in his kidnapping and killing, let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like and share and also stay subscribed to this page for updates.